Fish Radio, and here we are in San Francisco live at the New Living Expo. And I'm here with the genius behind this beautiful event, Ken Hoffman. And uh, we're here relaxing, taking it easy, and I'm going to have the opportunity to hear his story and um, get a little glimpse of, of the inspiration behind it, the motivation, and his intention for this beautiful gathering. Ken. Wow, what a great intro. I love it. Tells it like it is, you know, and uh, manifesting something like this. I was just talking to somebody about it, and they said, well, how do you do it? And I said, I really don't know, because it's like it's like you give birth to a baby. How do you know how that baby's going to turn out? You don't know ahead of time. Yeah. You only find out after it's happened. You know, it's like, how many people are going to come? I have no idea. But it's always good. It's always different. It's always fresh. It's what's current. It's, uh, you know, a networking, a gathering of so many different people. I get so many stories afterwards of how many people have met their soulmates here. They got married. So I think next year, since I'm doing a green fashion show this year, I'm going to probably do weddings. Mm, smart. You know, we may as well offer weddings in the back. You know, it's like, hey, you met here. You may as well might even want to consider getting married. We'll do a little, you know, who knows, new age wedding. So what inspired you to, you know, take on this opportunity? Um, well, I was an exhibitor in the early 80s for Body Tools, which was a company I started in the early 80s. And so I was I was like an exhibitor before I was an owner. And why that's so important is because, you know, these exhibitors really make the show happen. If they're happy, they want to buy a booth again. And they tell their friends and the word of mouth. And the energy is good. And if they don't do well, one show, maybe two, you're out of business. So the success of the shows are making sure that the exhibitors are happy. And not just like a number, you know, they're like they're like your family. They become your family. And I think that's the feeling you get when you come to a New Living Expo show, which was used to be a whole life expo, is that they do feel this energy. It's, it's got a good vibe to it. Um, and I think that's what's made it continue to be successful. And for me, it's like I had to keep changing stuff. I had to add stuff. I added a cannabis as medicine. I added a fashion show. I'm trying like different things, that, you know, have a, a wider niche. So that way I'm not just green ecology. I'm, you know, I'm, I want to be more multifaceted so people have a chance to, you know, experience different, different things. It's like you're exposing somebody who might be into like green weddings into like a healthy, healthier lifestyle. So I feel like that's really nice to expose them to something that's different and unique. And they just have a great time. They just love it. Thanks, Ron. So I'm, I'm just like, you know, always blissed out of these things and going, wow, you know, it takes you six to nine months to put something like this on. Year after year, the beauty of it, as I get three to six months off, and most people get two weeks off a year, so I feel like super, super blissful. You know, come Monday or Tuesday, the phones are not ringing anymore, there's no more emails about whatever, it's like, it's like you have this big ramp up, and it escalates and escalates, gets closer and closer to um, the, the show, and then Monday, it's like you drop off a cliff. It's like all these hugs and all this good energy, and then it's over. It's like, and then before you know it, it's Friday night now. And it's like we got two long full days ahead of us, and it feels really good now. But come Sunday night, it's like, oh, it's over already. And I already know that feeling because I've experienced it so many times. I've probably done like 40 or 50 shows. So, what are you sitting here in this? Yeah. So, so I think that you know it's 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 one of those things that you just have to just create, experience, and enjoy, and slow down to enjoy it. I really got in touch with slowing down this show because I I slowed down. This is interesting. For 22 years of doing shows, this is the first time that I wrote down a procedure of how to move in to how to move out. It's already done. Never did it before. I slowed down enough to download my brain and my great office staff to, you know, to decipher what actually happens during a show when you set it up to break down. And it's like, 
Yesterday we were like almost completely done with everything that we usually take two days to do because I was so organized and people knew exactly what to do and it just like went really smooth and it made a world of difference. It's, you know, it just comes into the show more calm, less stressful, you have a lot better fun time. You know, you know I was going to say that and you guys know we've been to so many events all over the world and, and we meet with, you know, usually the producers or the people that put these things on and one thing that I have to say is that every single one of them are stressed out, especially during the happening and when we walked in Ken was actually uh, on a chair getting a massage and he felt like this totally chill guy that was just kind of floating around saying yeah hi to everybody and I wanted to ask you what's your secret even though you shared a little bit of it this is the first year that you're actually I mean I've never seen you before this is the first time and I'm like how can this guy put so much together and just be floating around being totally okay with it I love that yeah and it's it's one of those things that if you're well organized ahead of time, and you just, you know, it's, it's a lot, I mean, sometimes I think it's luck, but I think it's karma too. Uh, we put out good energy, good energy comes back, so I mean, I've got really, every show is like, my uh, these staff is really good. I mean, a staff of like one and a half people. I mean, I hire one person for three weeks and one person for like three months, and that's it. Everything else, I'm doing myself. So it, it's just, but I got great people, and so it was like they know what to do, and they just they just take the bull by the horn and just go for it. It really makes my job much more smooth and much more relaxed. Because when you imagine doing this for nine months, if you have to be stressed out during the event, how much am I going to enjoy it? This is this is my party for ten thousand people. I want to enjoy the party. I don't want to be cleaning dishes and you know serving stuff and you know putting out fires. It's like you know. There's not that much of that, so I think it's just more having good staff and knowing what you have to do and just slowing down and enjoying it. I mean, it's just like, it only happens for three days. How much can you, you, you miss it if you're just too stressed out during the whole thing. So I feel, I feel so blessed to be able to enjoy it. I sit down with you guys for, you know, 10, 15 minutes and just rap about the history. And, which I'll give you real quick. Is that so for 12 years, I ran Whole Life Expo from 86 to 98. We sold it in 98. We were doing eight shows around the country in 98. My last year I did shows. And the last show I did was in Portland, Oregon. It was not very good. It was kind of, you go, went out with a bang, you know. And then... After 9-11, it got two more owners had owned it after me, and it closed down. They just stopped doing shows, and I thought, there's a big void here in San Francisco. This is where this started. This is the culture creatives here. Why can't you continue to do San Francisco? Well, they uh, can't do it. So I thought, that's like, that was my baby. Come on. You can't not do San Francisco. So I decided in 2002 to, in January, put on a show in April. Three, three and a half months later, I pulled it off with a couple hundred booths and a few good speakers. And I actually had, I think I had Julia Butterfly, who was here this weekend there. Um, it, was, it was an amazing show. People felt like, wow, we haven't seen a good show like this in a long time just because, you know, just, I was able to do it. And then, just like, okay, then you're back in the expo business, but just one a year. And I always use the excuse, my wife won't let me do more than one a year because it's a lot of work. So I, you know, I drop myself out a little bit here and there for consulting, but I try to just focus it, do one a year, play hard, and work hard. Because it's like having three to six months off a year is like, that's playing hard. <laughs> After this, I go to Martha's Vineyard for two and a half months. Oh, I love it. I mean, you know, my wife's got a summer home there. They rent it out for like a ridiculous amount. And we get to stay there and it's like, you know, be on the beach, fishing, and windsurfing, and just having fun at the beach, you know, take our little winter dog. And we have a great time. That's awesome. So for people who want to, you know, want to be a part of this next year, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? Well, if you went to newlivingexpo.com, basically the information's there. We archive all 10 years, create past shows on the website so people can see who we had from 2002 to 2012. I mean, not yet 2012, but I do have my first speaker uh, for 2012. It's in the addendum. It's uh, Don Miguel Ruiz's son. 
is my first speaker for next year. And I put him in the addendum this year, so, yeah. you know, announcing my first speaker, and it's like, so the date's at the end of April, you know. Uh, I'm consistent. That helps. Bit, you do shows, bit, you do the so same weekend every year, people go, it's oh, it's the end of April, it's the next Expo time, oh. and it's like, that's my weekend. Mm -hmm. And I used to do a little bit earlier, like I do it during Earth Day weekend, uh, there was just so many different events to go to during Earth Day, it's like, you know, too much competition, so I try to be after that, so I can use that to build momentum. So that's really what this is, is a build up of momentum, and then energy just gets dispersed by having all these people get together and meet and connect. And then, you know, afterwards, all those connections get made, all those business relationships, business, social, it's just fantastic. That's awesome. What's one thing that you absolutely love about putting these together? It's the, the connectedness that people make, the connections, because I think for a lot of these people, they only get together during this fair, and they and they re reconnect with you know, I haven't seen you for all year, you know, reconnecting, you know, and, and that's really what life's about. We lose so much of that with our little iPhones, you know, the network, and you can't like send a text message to really reconnect with somebody on a heart level. But I bought it, so I get more hugs. And this weekend that I yeah, probably get all year. <laughs> and we know that uh, this is a great way to raise your vibration. So it's the, it's the best thing. It's you know it's, it's the connectedness that we, we really miss. And we, you know we need our bodies need that's food. Yes, so true. And you know texting a message that I love you ain't the same. It's not the same as hugging you in person, right? Not the same. So we like to end all our interviews with one thing that you're incredibly grateful for. Oh yeah yeah yeah. On a box I would be. Totally, my health is number one, a high priority. As I was telling you before, I get a lot of massages. I'm a massage lush. Uh, so I'm grateful that I have very, very good health. I'm 57. I feel about 37. Yeah. Wow. You look amazing. I just, you know, I have a lot of vital energy. And, you know, it's like, there's the chi in there. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being who you are and, and um, creating the space for us to have a, some one-on-one -on -one time with you. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what it's about. Yeah. Making time for the you know, people that make a difference. Yes. You guys are making a difference in the world, and I want to get some time. Aw, thank you. Yeah. We received that. For more information, go visit www.newlivingexpo.com. And if you're not going to be here this year, make sure to uh, put it in your schedule for next year, 2012. Again, on behalf of the entire Our Wish radio team, we send you unconditional love and say until next time.